Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo is in the building. You already know what we do when we come to this table, fam. Do you mind? Our Father was joining heaven. We thank you on today, oh Father God. Lord, I ask you as we go on our day, I ask you to just continue to look after my family and their kids and keep them safe, oh Lord Jesus. And I ask this food that be a nourishment to my body. This I ask you in your name. Amen, amen, amen. What up, fam? I know I've been MIA, huh? I already know, fam. Let me tell you what I got today. I got some cabbage, cornbread, and some barbecue chicken. Yes, I did. You want some? Okay, you can have some. Fam, let me tell you. I can't use this. No, I can't. I'm going to put it down. Because. My hands clean and this is my food, okay? Mm. You want some chicken? Barbecue good? I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm. Mm. I like hot sauce on my stuff. Yeah, I like hot sauce. This big old bottle, I know. I just like hot sauce. Mm. I like it spicy. I, I don't put meat in my cabbage just too much because you got meat on the side. So I just take and do bell peppers and onions in my cabbage. Mm -hmm. You know I'm going to do you some fam. Here. 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 Okay, son. Where I've been, I gotta tell y'all about it. Oh, it's been rough. It's been really, really rough, fam. All right. I gotta eat a little bit first. Hold on. I gotta eat a little bit. This is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. Mm hmm. I can eat cabbage every day. The barbecue chicken? Every day. I'm going to tell you why I be here. Hold on. Let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. I'm going to tell you, okay? Let me eat. I'm going to tell you what's been going on in a minute, okay? Mm. You want? I'll just give you a whole piece and you can just put it on your plate, okay? I'm going to just give you a whole plate. I make my own barbecue sauce. Yep, I do. I really make my own barbecue sauce. Hmm. Every time I make my own barbecue sauce. <laughs> How many times I say that? Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. So far, this is what I really want to say. Don't nothing come for free, fam, not even your blessing. What you mean, Mama Cuzzo? Don't nothing come for free, not even your blessing. That's what God told me. That's what he said. I'm telling you. What you mean, don't nothing come for free? Let me tell you why I say that. I'm going to use me as an example, okay? All right. The reason why you haven't seen me, because of last week, I had to start back having those bad headaches, right? So I went to the doctor. And when I went to the doctor, he put me on some new medicine. And I had did a video. And I had looked at myself on that video. I said, uh-uh. They not finna go around and lie to mama cousin on drugs. Oh, no, because I was looking crazy. I was discombobulated. Like that medicine was having me so hot. I said, I'm not going on there like that. So I had to give my body some time to get adjusted to this new medicine he had gave me, right? So when I got sick, I had got rid. Yo, you be you either you gonna bite this one or you're not getting another one or two, which one of them? All right, so. I'm gonna cut some hungry today. So. After I went to the doctor, like I said, I was using that medicine and stuff. So that medicine had me done like dreary and hot. 
So I was like, I'm not going on there like that. And them people gonna be calling Mama Cuckoo look high today. So, so that's why I didn't come on. So after he gave me the medicine, I came home. I got the took the medicine. My headache wouldn't go away. I said, I saw I called Kira on the phone. I said, oh, Kira, you got to come over here and you got to watch me sleep because my head hurt me so bad. So when I got the phone with Kira, I just started throwing up everyone. Everyone. I said, oh, Kira, I'm sick. So Kira came through, finally made it. She's like, man, you think we're going to take you to the hospital because you know your headaches get bad. Well, nothing happened to you. I said, I'm not going to the hospital. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. So, Kira watched me sleep. So, when I woke up, I started feeling better. So, I said, oh, Kira, I'm feeling a lot better now. She said, okay, Mama, since you're feeling better, I'm going to go on and go home. I said, okay. Because I knew she had to go to work in the morning. So, I said, okay. So, this is good. You make a rocket cookie like that. You want some? You want me? Okay, hold on. So, so, let me tell you. So, Kira left. Once she left, I was feeling good. I got up. Fixed me something to eat. Because I hadn't ate like two days. I couldn't eat because my head was hurting me so bad. So, all of a sudden, the next day, I was doing better. All of a sudden, the headache hit me again. Bam! And when the headaches hit me, it hurts my eyes. I can't hold up my eyes, so I have to lay down and close my eyes. So, I lay down and close my eyes. I was taking my medicine like I was supposed to, but the headaches wouldn't stop. So, so I started praying. So, this is where it comes in. Even your blessings are not for free. Okay, so I was like, dang, I done got sick. I, I've been doing good. And now that I got sick, I was like, oh my God, Kira, I'm sick. So I'm like, I'm not going to the emergency room. So the next day I got a headache again. So the weekend was coming up, me and Kira them decided we was going to go on the beach and just relax, you know, because that's what you need sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, we got ready to, that Saturday came, we got ready to leave. So I said, Kira, I feel a headache coming on. She was like, oh, Lord. I was like, yeah, it's coming, it's gonna come. She was like, oh my God. So I didn't want to spoil our trip. Hold on, baby. I didn't want to spoil our trip, so I feel okay, we're gonna stop by the store and give me some leave or something. Cause I already took my medicine, but my medicine wasn't working. So we're gonna stop by the store and give me some leave or something. So I said, so we stopped by. I got the leaves. By the time I took the leave, my head bounced. Boom, 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 boom. I said, oh, Kira. Oh my God. Then came. So I didn't want to spoil that trip, so I was like, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. So I bared the headache till I made it to the beach. So when I made it to the beach, I started feeling a little bit better. So we just hung out and we had fun. So Sunday, I, was, I had another headache. I said, Lord, why am I having these headaches? Because he said, all your blessings don't come for free, Captain. I was like, what's going on? Why are you giving me headaches then? What, what, what it is? All right, y'all ready for this? This is why your blessings don't come for free, fam. This is why. So, you know when you when God about to give you a blessing, when he about to put some blessings in your life, the enemy comes. The enemy comes. So basically, you fighting the enemy for your blessing because he don't want you to have it. Right? So so my 
my spiritual mind told me that the Lord had a blessing for me and the enemy was trying to take my blessing. I said, oh, no, you're not getting my blessing. Oh, no. Uh-uh. But I didn't know what it was. But I always know when the enemy come and attack with me, fam, I already know God got something for me. That's how you need to start thinking. When the enemy come on attack to you, know that God has a blessing with your name on it. And the enemy's trying to distract you from getting that blessing. So, that's what popped in my mind. I said, the enemy trying to distract me from getting whatever God has for me. Right? I said, oh, I'm getting my blessing. So, I began to pray in my mind. I said, Lord Jesus, whatever it is, while I'm going through this, I thank you. Because I know at the end, there's something finna come out of this. Because I haven't been sick, you guys, in a long, like, three, four years. I haven't been sick. So, I said, it's got to be something that the Lord want me to have. The enemy trying to distract me from thinking about my blessing. So, I said, he not going to distract me from my blessing. So, so I got up the next morning. I said, I got up the next morning. I said, okay, Lord, I know you got something for me. I'm going to tell y'all this blessing. I knew it was a blessing. I knew the enemy was trying to distract me from that blessing. That's why I say even your blessings ain't free. Because the enemy come on and attack with him. He want him. He don't want you to have that. He don't want you to prosper in your life. So, I said, all right. I said, all right. So, I, I told Kira, I said, Kira, the enemy attacking me because I got a blessing. I don't know what it is, but the Lord got something for me, and now the enemy wants to attack me and disturb my mind so that I can't get it. I said, but I'm getting my blessing. That's what I told Kira. Who's that lady? So I'm a cut, so. All right, so let me tell y'all. So, so I was like, dang. So every day I was getting up the whole week. I was missing y'all like crazy for real. But I was like, I'm not going on there looking high like that. They're not gonna talk about me. Oh no. So, so here, fam. Here, 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 yeah. yeah. Well. You don't want none of So. So. I said. What is good, y'all? I'm not lying. Hold on one more moment. Hold on one more moment. So. I said. I knew it. That the Lord had a blessing for me. And I knew I wanted my blessing. See, let me tell you something for you. When the enemy come full force, know that you got a blessing on his way. Yeah, when he come, when he come, come like that, you got a blessing. It don't necessarily mean it's money. It could be you woke up this morning. Or it could be that you had something in your body that needed to be healed and it's healed. Or oh, somebody just want to bless you and, and give you a blessing of, of a word of encouragement. But I knew I had a blessing, okay? So when I knew I had the blessing, I said, So, here you go, right here. This is this is why I say your blessings don't come for free. So, I'm like, I'm going to give my blessings in my mind. So I'm giving God praises in my mind. I'm like, Lord, I thank you. With everybody going through, Father God. I want you to continue to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. I'm praying for everybody. For real, I'll be praying for y'all. So I want you to get your blessing. Yeah. And I don't want the enemy to stay out your way. So anyway, I was like, I said, let me tell y'all, because it's a blessing in here. You got to listen, though, okay? You got to listen to it, because it's a blessing here. So, so, I was getting better. I was getting better. I was getting better. So I started getting better. I said, Kira, I'm feeling better. She said, you feeling better? I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I said, I think I could eat today. So she said, all right, what you want to eat? I said, I'm going to cook because y'all, I really don't eat out. No, I cook every single day. I really don't eat out. So I said, I think, I think I'm going to cook, Kira. I don't really want to eat out. She said, okay. I said, because I'm going to cook what I really want to eat. And that way I can eat. She said, okay, ma. In one week, y'all, I lost 15 pounds. 
not eating. I didn't eat not a single day. I was eating fruit and drinking juices because I couldn't do nothing. I, I was stuck. Okay, well, anyway. So, I got better. I started feeling much better. Much better. I was like, oh, Carol, I'm feeling better. Oh, I'm doing good, Carol. So, she's like, Mom, that's good. That's good. I don't want that fat. I don't, I don't want that. No. So, she said, that's good, Mom. So, so I said, I was sitting there, I was eating, right? So my phone rung. My phone rung. And my friend girl said, Hello, how you doing? So oh, I've been sick. I told her I was being I had been sick. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not feeling good. I said, but I'm back, I'm bouncing back now. Okay. I said, I'm bouncing back now. So good. I'm so glad you are. So he said, the reason why I'm calling you is because my mom has a business. And I spoke very highly of you to my mom, and my mom wants to know, would you like to come work for her? And I was like, what? I told you I had a blessing. I told you. And I got chills all over me. And I was like, what? She said, yeah. She said, I told my mama you was a good person. And she would really love you on her team. So I was like, yeah, tell your mama to call me. So, hold on, y'all. Y'all listen. All right, so. So when I called her mom, my mom finally called me. My mom said, well, she was telling me about the people. And she was like, would you like to work? I was like, sure. She was like, oh, thank you so much. I'm like, no, thank you. I said, because this is what God is doing. God did it. I'm telling you. So, you know that unemployment about to run out. Let's keep it real. So I was like, God, what am what, 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 what I going to do? I saved money, but like, what am I going to do? Because I haven't went back to work yet. He said, you going to work? I was like, okay. I thought he was talking about my regular job. So Dana Mama offered me the job, and she was like telling me to pay and stuff. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, sure, I don't mind. I'll do it. It was a 12 to 12 shift. I never worked a 12 to 12 in my life, you guys. Never. I've always worked eight hours, and that was it. Never a 12, okay? So, y'all ready for this? So, I goes to work. I started Monday, which was yesterday. Y'all, when I get there, y'all know what? I don't do nothing. God literally took and use someone to sit a job right in my lap. I didn't look for this job. I didn't ask for this job. And then I get to work, you guys. I'm not bragging because I'm grateful, but I don't do nothing. I just sit down for 12 hours. Yeah, it sounds boring, but when you gotta work, you know it's a great. But let me tell you, that's why your blessings don't come for free, fam. Then you be wondering, oh, why I'm going through this? Why I'm going through that? But if you would really look at the spiritual side of it, fam, telling you the truth, you would know that you got a blessing on the way. That's when you will start noticing that you're giving praise. I know it's hard to give him praise when you're going through what you're going through, but give him praise. Because it's a blessing going to come out of it. It's a blessing going to come out of it. So now I'm working another job, not my regular job, but God gave me another job because he knew that unemployment was about to run out and it was about to drop down. And don't get me wrong, fam, I done saved some money so that I could pay bills and stuff and live my life, but once you putting out, putting out, and ain't nothing going back in, then you're going to be broke, right? But what God did, he just put it in my lap. So now I got a, a second job. I don't, I'm not, my headaches, they gone. The headaches are totally gone. I haven't had a headache since. Okay, yeah, it could be my medication, but if they gone, you know? So know that your blessings are not free, family. And know that when you're going through what you're going through, know that you got to give God prizes anyway. I told y'all in one of them videos that everything ain't going to be roses all the time. You see what I'm saying? Everything is not going to always be roses. But when you're going through what you're going through, you got to learn how to say, God, I thank you. 
this too shall pass. You will be over that in no time. And then on to the next problem. Right, fam? Right? Am I lying? On to the next problem, right? But this is what I'm trying to say, fam. This is what I'm trying to say. Know that the enemy will attack you when your blessings is on the way. See, but you got to recognize that. And you can't wallow in it when you're going through. You got to say, God, I give you praises and I'm going on. See, that's what I did. Now I'm back refreshed. I'm going to a job that I like. I ain't doing nothing. The people nice. So know that, fam, that we got to go through to get to where we need to be. So know that your blessing come with a price, too. See, God gave us a blessing when he stood up on that cross. He took his son and put his son up on that cross. See, his son could have came down. But no, he blessed us to have abundance on earth. You know? So this is what I want you to do for me. When you send me my message today, I want you to say, Mama Cuzzo, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And when I get to my lowest point from now on, you guys, I want you guys to pray. And know that you're going to get through that, no matter what it is. And it could be the most heartbreaking thing that you're going through. Know that that too shall pass. And know that when the enemy comes along, know that, hey, I got a blessing. I want my blessing. So that takes me off focus of what was going on with me to make me focus on the Lord by giving him praise because I want my blessing. Okay? So when you're going through what you're going through, fam, well, this is what I want you to do. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you. I will bless your name at all times, Lord, no matter what I'm going through. And you will come out. You'll come out. Yes, you will. You'll come out. That's all I'm trying to say, Phil. I'm a witness. I just told you a true story. How I had to fight the enemy for my blessing last week. So, fam, when you're going through what you're going through, always remember that it's a blessing behind you. It is. Okay? Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo was in the building, but Mama Cuzzo was about to exit the building. But until then, fam, remember when the enemy come on and say, you got a blessing on the way. Don't knock your blessing. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be talking to you guys. Really, I am. So always remember, you guys, go get your blessing from the enemy, okay? Take your blessing from him. Don't let him take your blessing. You take it back from him, okay? I love you guys, and stay safe.